Now as you can see, it's not moving at all, but now it's moving. If I now it's not moving, and if I reverse polarity again, it's supposed to move to the left. So let's see. There it goes. So, the question is, is this an example of an slip and a stick device or this is some kind of inertial propulsion other way to say the same question is this behavior in which when the motor is running in one direction sometimes when the mass is put in a special way all the device is moving forward and when you reverse polarity, all the device is moving backwards. It's because of the variable friction coefficient between the wheels and the floor, the shaft within the wheels, the wheels within the... Um, within this, and I don't remember how do you say this, this arandelas. In Spanish, it's arandela. The friction with the air and all kind of stuff, even if some parts of the floor are more polished than others, can affect. But sometimes when it moves forward or backwards, it moves with such a speed, with such uh, such a strong force that makes me feel that can be done down to the inertia forces but I'm not sure because if this is true uh, then it it means that uh, the neural laws of motion must be ampliated in content to fit this new situation which is not new at all because all of you guys are experimenting with this kind of shit so you you understand perfectly what i'm talking about and next video i will try this floating into the water where we can suppose that the water is is uh, entropic in all directions of movement so if there is some force which is bigger in one direction than the other if this is in the water it can be good to see if we are wrong or we are right thank you for watching